Like, if I'm beating the crap out of them every day, how am I getting better? You got to lay it brick by brick. And you got to stack them days, man. You got to want it for yourself. You got to want it for your brother. And, that, and that's real. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody in here got a chance to go to that next level. Yo, welcome back to Cut Day Sports. I'm your host, Reggie Reg, a.k.a. Cut. Hey, look, man, we got to talk about Coach Prime commenting on Isaiah Land getting in the transfer portal. If you saw the post in the community tab yesterday, then you know that a lot on college sports made a post where it says FCS Defensive Player of the Year and FAMU linebacker slash defensive end Isaiah Land enters the transfer portal per Mike Farrell. And under that, Coach Prime replied and said, this is flat out wrong. You go into the portal because you don't think you can go pro from an HBCU. Well, a few went yesterday, and over 20 went from FCS schools. Be the change that we all desire. Don't run from the challenge. Willie Simmons is a great coach and does an amazing job with exposing his kids and preparing them. I pray he changes his mind and goes back to family because ain't no sure thing. You're going to get the reps, exposure, and recognition somewhere else. Just because it looks green don't mean it's grass. Now, this post had a lot of engagement with comments ranging from, hey, bro, this is, I can't believe he said that, to, oh, Isaiah Land is a traitor. Bro, it's wild on here on this internet. Me, personally, I like to see everything from both sides. You know, my fellow YouTubers would call me Switzerland. So, I'm going to give it to you how I see it from both sides, Coach Prime as well as Isaiah Land. Now, look, bro, this is the internet. This is my opinion. I don't talk to Coach Prime. I don't talk to Isaiah Land like that. So, this is what I think. So if I'm Coach Prime, I'm looking back. I'm looking at the analytics. I'm looking at all the numbers from last year. I'm looking at everything, bro. And I'm like, you know what? The Orange Blossom Classic is going to be one of the most viewed college games, period. It features Coach Prime, Isaiah Land, Coach Willie Simmons, Shadour Sanders, Travis Hunter. You're going to have a crazy amount of exposure. It's the first game of the season. Travis Hunter is going to bring a stupid amount of scouts in. Everyone wants to see his uh, collegiate debut. So that game right there, maybe you may have the most eyes on you, period. Like you, you're going to be more seen during this game than any other time in your career, more likely than not. Man, you one of the marquee guys. If you that, they're going to come get you. You're that. And you're going to be able to be seen more here because you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. 19 sacks. You know, you might go somewhere else and be have five, six sacks, eight sacks, and you know, you'll stop plumbing. You just another dude, you regular, but here you're special type of ordeal. You know, so I, I can see it from that perspective. Now, from the player's perspective, a lot of guys want to be challenged, bro. These guys will travel six hours in high school to go compete at a camp just to go against another player of a higher ranking, just because they want that smoke. They'll go to your high school during the summer, and bro. I, I want that. Let me get that just because they want to go out there and try their talents against the best. And uh, he's already competed in the swag for years. A person I got to see work every day, and I saw how he attacked his craft, went undrafted. Two linemen that I go against every day went undrafted, and I know how good they are, right? So if these guys didn't get drafted, and I just ran through the swag, like, bro, I just I took him. Uh, get off me, get off me, 19 sacks. Easy, that... I wasn't pushed. And you realize, like, bro, I got to be pushed way more if I'm going to play at the next level because these are other FCS guys. Our two best linemen just left. Like, where am I going to get my work from on a day-in to day-out basis? Like, if I'm beating the crap out of them every day, how am I getting better? Swack has an influx of wide receivers, DBs, new quarterbacks, but a lot of premier linemen are not in the Swack. So where he, he may be looking like, where am I going to get my work from? It'd be a competition thing like bro i want to be pushed every single day I, I, I want somebody who can who can put my face in the dirt every single day and force me to get better or go home some players don't like the easy once it becomes easy to them they want to dip so i can understand it from his perspective too as a competitor bro i want to go against like the dogs of the dogs like like if you're in a room and you're the dog it's like man i gotta get in a different room bro like I'm the best one here. There's nobody better. Like, golly, who going to push me? I'm killing him every day. He's not making my game better. He made a post on his Instagram that said, uh, fam, you is the only FCS slash HBCU I would ever attend. So it lets me know it's not about fam, you. It's about level of competition. 
It's not about going somewhere else and starting. It's about going somewhere else and put and, and letting that iron sharpen the iron. You done beat this iron to sleep and broke it. Like, how is it going to make you better? If you able to just crash this dude out every day, you smash him in the ground. Now, maybe another school is able to offer him an NIL deal that he hasn't been able to receive at FAMU. And he has stuff he want to take care of. That's just my opinion. Like I said, I don't have any inside information. Until Isaiah Lamb makes a decision or makes a public statement, it's all just guessing at this point. Hey, but that's just how Cut sees it. Thank you all for watching the video. Cut day out.